it's been estimated that 50% of pregnancies fail in the first couple of weeks, but we really don't know why. We haven't been able to study the events. So the significance of our paper is that we have generated in culture, using human embryonic stem cells, a little cyst that looks for all the world like the implanting human embryo. And that structure, as it, it's impl as it is implanting, is called the amniotic sac. And it is truly a sac. It's a hollow ball with a lumen. One side of that lumen has amnion tissue. The other side of this ball is actually the cells, the pluripotent cells that will give rise to all of the tissues and cells of the, of the embryo proper. It has not been possible previously in culture to make this asymmetric amnion uh, sac. We joined forces with Ping Fu in, in um, engineering and uh, worked with a number of systems where we could manipulate the environment that these little cysts are sitting in. And lo and behold, we found a condition in which this little cyst becomes half amnion and half pluripotent stem cell. We're very excited that we've been able to do it in part because what happened next was so startling. And that is, when we saw these uh, little balls in culture, the human pluripotent stem cell side started undergoing the process called gastrulation, which is a very complex biological process. Gastrulation gives rise to the types of tissues that are needed to build the whole body plan. And without it, the embryo will not survive. So being able to study how to make this bipolar disc, how to make amnion, and how to undergo the process of, of gastrulation at the molecular and cellular level is, we think, a, a really important breakthrough. We're, we're very excited to keep working on it.